Good day, my friends. This is Embra Jackson. I'm the senior pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Tupelo. We'd like to begin a devotion series this week on struggles, on struggling or struggles. In each and every life, there is struggle. There are challenges that come our ways, and we often don't know where to turn or what to do. But I believe in the midst of all of our suffering, Jesus serves as our example, especially during this time of Lent. And I'd like to share a reading from Isaiah, the 30th chapter, verse 15. Isaiah 30, 15, for our edification today. Hear now these words. For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. These words remind us that the children of Israel have been suffering. Isaiah is writing to them to remind them that even in the midst of their suffering, God will provide. Isaiah, in a very brief passage of brief, brief uh, scripture, says that God, the Holy One of Israel, will be with them that they are to remain quiet. They are to remain a people who know that they can rely on God and God will make a way. In your life, perhaps, you have had struggles. In your life, there have been challenges. There have been the ups and the downs, the ins and the outs. Life can be a struggle. During this season of Lent, we are reminded that Jesus also went through struggles. But through it all, Jesus remained constant in his belief that God would provide. That even when he knew that he was going to suffer humiliation and death upon a cross, Jesus still stayed the course. I would commend to you during this time in your life, this time in our lives when we might be struggling, with the pandemic, with the loss of loved ones, through death, through children that seem not to be listening, through a spouse that seems not to be where we want them to be spiritually, I remind us all that God wants us to remain steadfast. And I remind us all that in the midst of all of our struggles, God is saying, remain calm, remain at peace. I am still God. I will make a way out of what seems to the world like an impossible situation. Let us bow our heads. Almighty, everlasting, and ever-loving God, in the midst of trials and tribulations, we struggle. In the midst of the ups and downs of life, sometimes we don't know where to go or what to do. But we ask and pray, O oh God, that you would be with us during this season of Lent and remind us to be quiet, to be calm, to be at peace, knowing that you will be able to help us to overcome all obstacles. This we ask in thy name. Amen, amen, and amen.